This video is going to explore Harper AI in a bit more detail and it's also going to show you why I use the playground and yes, I know that not everyone has access to GPT-4 API, but when you do, this video will be the best way to make content. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, I have my prompt here. Uh, it's pretty complex, but I'm going to show you exactly how I built this prompt. So the first thing I did was I went on Google and I typed in or I pressed Control A or Alt A and brought up Harper AI. If you don't have Harper AI, just Google Harper AI and install it. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's easy. I'm going to do slash and then I'm going to go down to keyword strategy generator and I'm going to write summer wedding attire for men and I'm going to hit enter. Now, what I wanted to show you is just how amazing this actually is. If I Google the same keyword that I just, um, oops, uh, oops. Uh, summer wedding attire for men. If I Google this and reopen um, Harper AI, you can see that the people also ask are very, very similar to the FAQs. They're not exactly the same, but they are similar. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of Google, you can see that the related searches are very similar to the related queries. What does that mean? It basically means that expensive tools such as SEO Surfer and other things that do this for you are now completely useless. And it also means that you can use this to create an amazing article. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, whole, st the whole information here. In fact, I'm just going to copy it like that. And I'm going to go over to my prompt and we're basically going to delete this. And we're going to control, all, uh, control shift V to paste without formatting. And now we have an outline, a very, very quick outline. You saw how quickly I made that. We have the prompt and we have my internal links. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into chat GPT and I'm going to show you why it's just pointless doing it like this. So this is chat GPT 3.5. First of all, we're going to compare all four different uh, types. We're going to do 3.5 and four, and then we're going to do playground 3.5 and playground four. So what's missing here? You can see that it doesn't have the internal links. It's not using any formatting. And honestly, this is just a piece of crap article and I would not post that to my website. So let's try GPT-4, see if it can do any better. And we will pause this and we'll be back. Okay, so what does GPT-4 do that's wrong? It creates random, this is so frustrating. It creates random internal links that do not exist. I have not currently found a way to get around this. I will keep looking for a method to get around this, but for now at least, this makes GPT-4 within the um, within this UI completely useless to me. I can't have something that creates random backlinks. Uh, sorry, random internal links. Okay. So now onto the playground. If you don't know how to get to the playground, you can just do OpenAI Playground on Google and then click here and then create an account and then you'll be inside. Now this is also paid, but you pay per use. So first of all, let's do 3.5. And yes, I am fully aware that not everyone has access to ChatGPT4. If you click here where it says, so when you first load this, it'll say complete. Click on here and press chat. And then you want to click here. And if you do have ChatGPT4, you want to use ChatGPT4, but we'll just quickly do this with ChatGPT3 first. What I like to do personally is I like to split this up. The system has the relative internal links. This works a lot better, it seems, and it definitely doesn't make as many mistakes or create some random um, internal links that don't exist. So I'm going to press submit here. We're going to see what happens. So let's. the first thing we're looking for is, is this going to create random internal links that don't actually exist on my page, which will destroy the SEO of your website, or will it just not use any internal links? As you can see, the answer seems to be so far that it does not create any internal links. So I'm going to press cancel. I'm going to say add message. I'm going to say I asked you to include my internal links. Can you rewrite it with my internal links and then press submit? And it's probably going to fail again, honestly, because there's just something weird going on. So summer wedding attire for men. Do we have that summer wedding? Nope, we don't. So it's already created an internal link that doesn't exist. However, it seems to be using some that no, that's, is that an invented one? 
This seems to be an invented one. Super wall. I know. Okay. A lot of these aren't actually invented. So this is definitely usable and it's extremely cheap. Okay. So if you're currently thinking, should I use chat GPT four or sh inside the UI, or should I use chat GPT 3.5 inside the platform? My answer might surprise you. I would actually probably say use chat GPT 3.5 inside the platform because it's using what I'm showing you today, it's probably going to produce better content, okay? I always put the temperature on one. I didn't mention that before, but just so you know, I always put the temperature on one. And then you're going to have to manually go to markdown to html.com, put the markdown on the left, and then you will have to remove a lot of these links. So we're going to go on raw HTML, click copy, open up a document. Another way you could do this is you could put this directly into Shopify or whatever you're working on, actually. The reason you want to go to raw HTML instead of just preview and copying and pasting is because if you copy and paste without uh, going to raw HTML, it will take, it will put the red, it will put this URL in the relative URL. Okay. So you want to make sure you're going to raw HTML. And then all you want to do is just remove the links that don't exist like this one I know doesn't exist I don't know if this one exists so you can check if it exists by doing this um, let's do visible and then save hi so yeah the, the a really quick and easy way to test whether um, they are good links or bad links is to just go to the blog and then just click on them. So I know that this is a bad link. I don't know if this is a bad link. It is. Okay, this won't, obviously, because I'm not on the right website, so this doesn't quite work properly. So I don't know if this is actually, yeah, okay, this is a good link. So yeah, that's how I would do that personally. But it's just, it's a lot of hassle, okay? Um, but to be honest with you, this is pretty usable. And if I didn't have access to ChatGPT4 API, this is probably how I would be making content right now. Another thing you could do as well, if you wanted, you could put all of this in the system prompt like this. And then you could say, write the first half of this article. And what this basically allows you to do is create longer form content. Okay. Now, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to run all this through ChatGPT4 API. And we're going to see basically if it invents any links or if this is the only one that doesn't actually invent links. I have my suspicions as to the answer to that, but we shall see. I'm going to say at the top, write the first half of this blog, and then I'm going to press submit and I'm going to let that go. Okay. So that is now finished. I'm going to say, add a message. I'm going to say, write the second half of this article, press submit. I have just realized my camera has been frozen. I have no idea how long that was for, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do markdown here, markdown to HTML, and then we'll grab this, markdown to HTML. And we will now have a full length, amazing, beautiful article, okay? The final thing I wanna do is just quickly check how many words this is. So we're going new chat here uh, and we'll say, how many words is this? 429 words that, what? That does not seem right at all. Really? That seems extremely low. There's no way this is only 429. 918 words, perfect. And the final thing that I personally do is I use Hura Collection Embedder uh, on Shopify or Magento has this automatically in inside it. It's called a widget or a block. I'm sure WordPress has this as well. And I like to just put my the code of certain collections sprinkled around here. And then I like to make a featured image using Canva on Microsoft Designer. That's it. This is how I'm currently ranking first for many, many keywords on Google. And yes, all of the keywords are correct. Sorry, all of the internal links are correct. They all exist. And yeah, that's it. Hope this helps. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.